Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another vlog. Just pulled up to Ikea. I'm with my mom today. We are tackling the kitchen, mainly the pantry. So I told you guys I'm gonna be vlogging a lot of this process of unpacking, organizing, decorating, getting stuff for the new house. And today is all about the pantry slash kitchen, like I just said. So I need a few little bits and bobs, as they say in the UK, for my... <laughs> Pink top and red Very summer ready, but yeah, I need a few little things for the kitchen, like the actual kitchen, and then mainly I just need a bunch of like containers, baskets, jars. I'm trying to make a Pinterest pantry, Instagram pantry. I'll insert some inspiration photos here of what I'm talking about. Basically just trying to make my pantry look all perfectly organized and you know, just, just like aesthetically pleasing, you know? doing the most honestly but since I have that big pantry I'm like I might as well make it look good you know so the first stop is Ikea because they have a lot of good kitchen stuff basically I want to get stuff like this you know stuff like this I saw these little spice jars um, these are kind of big I was going to put some smaller ones spice jars put the spice jars on suggest you put the spice jars on the little those, I call them stair steps, a little tin thing. Yeah. You only have about 12 spices, but. <laughs> what you trying to say? <laughs> 12 is fine. So, but I still wouldn't want to pay. This is $4.99 for, for a pack. pack. So keep those in mind, but there's some other ones. Over there. I don't think I need any more of these because I already got those other ones from Home Goods. Okay, this is the jackpot section that we need to be in. All the jars and containers and things. Okay. We need the jars with the lids. Yeah. This doesn't have lids. How do you open it? Uh oh. Bamboo ones are kind of cute, but yeah. Um, I don't Three dollars. Like this is a two pack for how much? Two ninety nine. Right. I was saying get 12 of these and we'll empty your spices in there and then label them. Okay. Oh, those are the jars with the lids. Okay, so t six of these to make 12. Or how many How many spices? Because I also want to go grocery shopping or like pantry shopping to get, you know, you as the chef, how many spices? I mean, basic spices, 12 to 15. And you have about 12 and you have all the basic stuff. It's economical though by the time you buy six of these. So I mean, Amazon might have like a bulk pack. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I don't use my shakers really. I use a measuring spoon, but. I use a shaker. And this is type of closure is annoying. I can foresee myself breaking nails on this. I would, if anything, I would stick with the classic ones with the little lids like this, different sizes. Like this can be for spaghetti and then like other type of pasta penne pasta these are cute with the bamboo lids and they are like three dollars three dollars four dollars definitely prettier than just your average ziploc tupperware plastic with the red lid or the blue lid it's all about the aesthetic so um what do you call it earth ring Eco-friendly? Eco-friendly because they're not plastic and glass. Won't discolor like plastic will. Like when you have a, a plastic thing and it gets that weird greasy yeah, mark that won't go away. Spaghetti sauce. So we are in Costco now. Came to get some bulk items for the pantry. But also, my mom is buying me a housewarming present, a new set of pots and pans. I needed a hose, some household essentials. Oh, I need a blender. This is the Ninja 1000, but you can also, we're also going to Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, okay, I'll just wait. Now we are at the Bed, the Bath & the Beyond. We have been going here, there, and everywhere, trying to find the perfect things. At the perfect price. Saving money is hard work. You gotta go here, there, everywhere, go to every store, compare price, well, this not the right price you gotta go here drive there by the time you save money on the item you didn't spend all your money on gas hopefully this is the last place you have to go no it's not oh yeah we have to go to the container store i forgot we didn't even go there yet 
Okay, this is the second to last place. We need a blender. A blender, blender knives, set, and maybe some containers that they have here. I was gonna get a new Keurig because I don't like my blue one because of the color. <laughs> but then I was like, my mom has a black Keurig, so what if I just trade with my mom? because I need a black one to go with my aesthetic. Oh, and here's a Vitamix. So this is like big, like, uh -uh. smoothie shop. I would, this is like more about the Vitamix, I would get the blender. Extra. Uh, I'll just wait on the blender. You said don't get the one that comes in a block, why? I mean, as a step up from what you already have. <laughs> I have like two knives from Walmart, that's about it. But if it's gonna be on a block, it has to match. I would prefer the light colored wood. I just need something basic, like this is $59. I mean, you know, if you hate it, you can get more knives next year. Salt, 18 piece. I mean, that looks decent. These are the OXO OXO containers that my mom recommends for pantry items. A hundred dollars. It's ten dollars a piece. Twenty-one dollars just for this. I mean, I feel like I could use the whole ten piece set. Oh, there we go. Yeah, ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Last stop, the container store. This is where I'm gonna be spending the big bucks, but this is where they got all the stuff. Ooh, see, look how satisfying this store is. Very nice. So I'm still looking for baskets, like regular baskets and wire baskets. Oh, these are actually cheaper. And this is 974. These are cheaper and they're on sale. And then I need spice jars, spice rack situation. I would put like little packets of chips. These are 16. This is the perfect size. Now I thought the container store was gonna have a plethora of everything I needed, but maybe I'm just too picky. See, Virgo problems. I have an exact vision in my head of what I want. The exact color, size, texture, everything. And then I try to go to the store to find it and it's like that doesn't exist. Dang. You like these? Yeah. I say just get two of those. Or three. three. Alright, so far I am finding some stuff. Baskets, clear containers, some jars down there. I've already got a basket full of probably like $200 worth of stuff. <laughs> these things are so expensive. I mean, I guess it's I don't know, that's just how much this stuff costs, but like everything is like $12 each, $20 each. So, uh, yeah, not a cheap thing to do. Filled up a whole basket plus more stuff overflowing. I'm afraid to see what this total is gonna be, but I think we got everything now. Okay, finally home and done with shopping for the day. That took a lot more work and way longer than I expected. It is almost 9 p.m. right now. Um, came home, had dinner, unloaded all of the stuff that I bought. So here is a quick overview of everything that I bought. So we went to Ikea, Bed Bath & Beyond, TJ Maxx, but didn't end up getting anything at TJ Maxx, and Container Store. But I feel like I spent like $200 at each of the four places. Like I spent way more money than I expected to spend, but it's because I wasn't really trying to get like the cheapest thing. Like obviously like I didn't go to the dollar store or anything like that, but that's because I really had like a specific look that I was going for and my mom had specific recommendations on the types of containers that really are the best to store food in. So I ended up spending a lot of money. But at the same time, I did also get a few little extra things that are not necessarily for the pantry. But anyways, got a bunch of baskets, jars, uh, Lazy Susan, bins like this, glass jars like this with the bamboo lids, wooden turntable, more baskets. Oh, drawer liner stuff for the kitchen to go in the drawers. More glass containers with the bamboo lids. I did get some bulk paper towels at Costco as well. Bulk dishwasher stuff. My mom bought me this set of pots and pans. Bulk fruit snacks. Costco has sheets for a good price, so I got sheets for my king size bed, two sets. Wire baskets, more containers. More glass containers with the bamboo lids and more glass jars. These two glass jars, and I forgot that I also got my knife set as well at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, and I totally forgot the freaking $100 set of plastic containers. That definitely brought up the overall uh, spending today as well. But at the same time, I still didn't even get everything that I need because I didn't end up getting the spice jar 
spice rack situation. I think I'm gonna have to order those on Amazon. And I didn't get a blender, which I don't have a blender, I need one of those. But we're already halfway into this project, so we're gonna keep going, and it's gonna look good at the end of it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it is day two and now it's time to actually get to organizing. So my mom is here to help and of course I'm having my mom help me in case you're wondering because my mom not only is a kitchen cooking person, so she knows about kitchen supplies and things, but she also is an organizing type person as well. Label making. Organizing queen. <laughs> organizing queen, excuse me. Step one. I think we should move all this Clear all of this out, and since your pantry is so big, we don't need to actually take it out. We'll just move it to the side, and then we're gonna set up the containers where you think they look nicest, and then label each container with what you think you're gonna put in them. Since my pantry goes all the way around, uh, I'm pretty much, for now, just planning on setting up this back wall and not really worrying about the sides. I mean, we'll see how it ends up being, but I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna barely have enough to fill up this back wall anyway. Okay, so now we are temporarily labeling what we think we're gonna use each container for. So obviously, some of them are more obvious, like this is for spaghetti, but this is like rice, flour, sugar. That one's gonna be brown sugar. Just to get an idea of how this is gonna go. Hey! So we're just doing this first to kind of get an idea and make sure I actually have the right containers for everything and how it's gonna look because I may need to order some more stuff on Amazon. So, okay, for example, granola Cereal. bars. Like if for instance you have bags of chips like that, bad stuff could go in there. I think that these should stay on the bottom row. This, whatever you decide to put in there, just stay on the bottom row. With the snacks that I buy for Zaya, these would both be filled up with snacks and this needs a basket. Okay, so after kind of somewhat arranging and seeing what I want to put in each container, of course we have figured out that I am missing some containers or I have some stuff that just doesn't, like we didn't buy a basket, we didn't buy enough baskets, didn't buy enough jars. I felt like I bought so much stuff. I thought, I really thought I was going to have too many containers, but I am missing some. So I definitely think I need at least one or two more of these smaller baskets. I might need another one of these for snacks. I definitely need like one or two of these smaller ones for snacks. I need something that's going to handle canned goods, like some sort of little stacky shelf thing or basket or something for canned goods. A couple of other containers for stuff I didn't think about. I have a lot of tea bags and these emergency little packet things that need a container. My brand new fancy set of pots that my mom bought me. This was basically what I had for my old set. <laughs> extra containers that I still needed on Amazon. So I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, but my mom just took another trip to the container store to get some more of these baskets. Um, so we have a good amount of stuff to work with right now. I feel like we can start actually filling it up with food and start arranging it how we want it to look on the shelves. And then we have to make labels for these things. <laughs> So for all of the containers that I'm actually gonna put like food, like loose food, like packaged food doesn't matter, but like, you know, flour, sugar, things like that. Always be sure to, you know, wash out your containers before you put food in them.
now day three, I think, of this project. And right now, we are on the step of creating custom labels. And you know we was gonna break out the Cricut machine. So my mom brought over the Cricut machine over here, hooked it up to the computer that's in here. And this is the font. So printing it onto this black vinyl, decided to go for black lettering instead of white, just because I feel like for most of the jars, the black will show up better. So we got these from the container store. They are specially made to go on the baskets. They're like little clips like this, like so. And you can write on it with chalk or chalkboard marker. Or I'm trying to decide if I want to do this with white and print those out and stick them on here. But then you won't be able to like really change it that easily if you want to change it. So just picked up some pantry groceries essentials to go ahead and fill up all of my brand new containers and just stock up on everything that I would normally use. Quick little grocery haul. Got some spices for my new spice jars just from the bulk spice section just to get, you know, the exact amount that I needed of whatever other extra spices or, you know, refills from what I already had here. I had a, you know, decent range of just random spices from different brands, but just kind of want to fill them up in the nice new jars. Also plan on cooking a lot more in this new house with my new kitchen. So just wanted to stock up on some more stuff that maybe I haven't normally been using, but I really want to start using. Brown sugar, powdered sugar, um, stocking up on more rice, brown rice and jasmine rice. Got regular white sugar, Flour, again, to fill up the jars. Gluten-free spaghetti, veggie spaghetti. Got Zaya some more mac and cheese cups. Applesauce pack, strawberry and regular. I use these for her lunch for school. Um, some oatmeal cups that I always eat for breakfast. I needed more baking powder. And then just a bunch of canned goods just again to stock up on. I don't necessarily have like plans in my head of like specific recipes that I'm gonna make this week to use all this stuff. But since they are, you know, non-perishable pantry items, you might as well just stock up on, you know, a few different kinds just to have on hand. Got some red potatoes for the potato bin and some onions for the onion bin. Some little bags of chips and popcorn and little bags of goldfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then we're gonna put the finishing touches on all of the labeling and then we should be done. Oh, and I got water bottles to stock up this basket. Oh my God, this is so satisfying. A 24 pack of water bottles fits perfectly in this basket. These are the things that bring me joy in life. my kitchen and put away all my new items and now it's time for the final pantry reveal. 